It's great. I never thought I'd, I'd ever be doing this. Good things may come to those who wait. All right. Got gotcha. you. But Don Parthry lost hope long ago. You're right, champ. You want some help? This very moment has been eluding Don for nearly 25 years. I still can't believe it. A reunion of sorts with the most important man in his life. That's my father. As far as we know, that footlocker has not been opened since 1966. Amateur historian Walker Galding loves a good mystery. My curiosity got the best of me. Especially the wooden one sitting on his dining room table in Warsaw. So it's like a time capsule in every way. It's just a time capsule. Months ago, this sturdy footlocker. The condition is really amazing. Was saved from a hungry dumpster by Walker's friend Roger Briney with seconds to spare. As I lifted the lid up and saw the flag, the guy that at the dumpster was hit the button and was starting to crush. Inside, old glory and a lifetime of memories. But whose? It's that lost connection to who they are. Walker was determined. We found this down in the bottom of the footlocker, and it's just a tiny little Bible. The Hanover native soon realized a Colonel Clyde Parthry once owned the footlocker. There's the man they called the old gray fox, Colonel Parthry. Piles of pictures and mounds of mementos paint a crisp image. And you can interpret a little bit about this guy's life because you've got so much of it. Parthry flew troops and supplies into battle during World War II. This guy was the real deal. He was the real deal. Newest wingless wonder from the draft boards of U.S. aviation experts. As a test pilot, Parthry manned experimental aircraft like the wingless wonder. But will it fly? That's the colonel in this newsreel from 1942. You feel like you, you, know, you know a little something about this guy. Parthry even flew grateful world leaders like the King of Belgium around the globe. So the king uh, personally signs this photo and, and gives to the colonel. Parthry was on the tarmac at Andrews Air Force Base when President Kennedy's body was returned from Dallas. These special military passports, I've never seen anything that looked like this. For Walker, the locker's contents were more than just American history, but someone's family history. Just like his service belt, a bolo tie, more uh, flight instrumentation instruments. I couldn't believe that this guy's entire entire life ended up in this box. Friend Nigel Mulvina offered to help search for descendants. I had made it my mission that night. I actually didn't sleep very much that night. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel would hit par three, pay dirt. The footlocker just seemed to disappear. Par three survivors tracked down in Maryland were eager to reclaim their past. It had always been something my dad had asked about because his father's flag was in it. It's all uphill. Which brings us... Oh my God. ...to Don Par three's long journey to Virginia. Yep. Do you want to sit down? An emotional son. <sighs> finally opening a once lost chapter of his life. Mm -hmm. For the 79 year old, this reunion is almost too much to bear. Is her marriage license? Aww. Years of wondering finally put to rest. Mm -hmm. Don thinks the locker, which was in his sister's possession, was simply tossed after her passing. The father's passport July 18th, 1956. Don is eternally grateful for the generosity and persistence of three strangers. Well, I guess the flag wasn't in here. There's just one more item, something Don yearned for. This heirloom, the most treasured. Oh. Mm. The very flag which draped Clyde Parthry's coffin 51 years ago. Uh, Don doesn't plan on letting go. And I'm so, so happy for having it now, so. Uh. Just like his cherished memories. If I remember two or three things. I'll treasure this. The rest of my life, that's going to be one of them. Uh. Yep, I read the look on that man's face. And what they gave back to him, they gave him back a priceless memory. There's, there's no price on that. For Don Par 3. Uh, thank you. I uh, thank you, and I thank you. This long overdue reunion was well worth the wait. You've made me feel real good again. The day his father's locker is finally going home.
for the rest of us, this is an interesting story. For Don, this is his story.